Business in the 217 on the WMAY Morning News Feed. I'm Greg Bishop, and we're joined now to tell you about some opportunities for those in your life who are of advanced age or looking for a new place to live. Amy Raising joining us. She's the Director of Development with Illinois Presbyterian Home Communities. Amy, thanks for taking time with us on the thanks WMAY Morning us. News Feed. Thanks for having us. No question about it. So tell us what this organization is all about and the long history you guys have and how you're looking at doing some changes here soon. Thank you. Thank you. And it's a beautiful day on our campus. You know, we've been around since 1954. This morning, I was greeted by three of our residents out for a walk on our campus. And our campus is expanding in 1954. And actually, in 1956, we accepted our first assisted living residents. And Greg, right now, what we're doing on the north part of our 27 acres is we're building independent living, um, both cottages and apartments. So we are building on history here at the top of the hill, Chatham and Lawrence. Pretty incredible uh, to see that kind of expansion happening on the 27 acres you have. Uh, and you've done a lot of service for seniors before uh, making the decision to start building. And that building's ongoing right now. We'll talk about uh, what ultimately you guys are going to have available uh, and how people can pre-register for some of this space. But tell us a little bit more about the history of uh, the Illinois Presbyterian Home Communities and the services that you guys have provided since 1954. You know, uh, we always say a lot of sh lots has changed since 1954. We've expanded not only we're talking about a building now, but over the years we added wings to this building. But let me tell you, Greg, it started out as Dr. Palmer founded this as the Palmer Sanitarium for Tuberculosis. Believe it or not, up on a hill, edge of Springfield, fresh air for those patients that were suffering from that from that disease at the time. Following that closure, the building, the shell of the building, sat vacant the beautiful acreage sat vacant until the um, uh, Reverend Grable from First Presbyterian Church in downtown Springfield said, you know, gosh, I'd like a place for my mother to, to grow old in, in, um, in uh, comfort and in a community. And that's how we were founded. To this day, that's exactly what we are. Our residents know each other. Our families know each other. Our staff knows everyone by name. We're a small community. So even our expansion, don't let it scare you, we're still going to be a campus of about 100 residents and staff. So people know people and it's like neighbors living together and sharing. A lot of times we hear about uh, how the the rental marketplace, uh, there aren't many uh, rental units available. And then people who are even just looking for a house, sometimes, uh, you know, the market's hot or not. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it may be difficult for them to find uh, find a new place to live. Uh, tell us about the importance of the the new developments you guys are uh, working on there on the campus uh, as part of the, uh, the 27 acres that you have for the Illinois Presbyterian home communities. Uh, what kinds of uh, apartments and uh, living residences, independent living yes. uh, are you guys going to be offering up? We're going to be offering um, literally the opportunity for residents to move into a cottage that's over 1,100 square feet, vaulted ceilings. I mean, they're just, they're beautiful high-end cottages, but they're month-to-month -month rent, Greg, because we know seniors think about the future. They think about, you know, aging and what it can mean and what their future care, senior care might be, but they want to downsize a little bit. So this gives them an opportunity for that month-to-month -month rent. Um living in a cottage on a campus where they have some of that safety and security of living again in a senior community, but month to month rent for those cottages, two bedroom, two bath. We're calling them senior friendly. We're not going to say that they're completely 100%, you know, um, accessible, but there's no step up from the garage, all one level, um, smooth flowing floors. And again, um, you know, even in the kitchen, we're making easy glide cabinets, so on and so forth. So, very, very senior friendly property. And then we're also building a three-story apartment building with the only 11 units. So not a long wait for any elevator or anything like that. But again, large, spacious, both one and two bedroom apartments. Now you're building all of this right now. Uh, we are. And, uh, we when are. do you anticipate the uh, completion date and the uh, first move-ins? Well, now, see, I'm on camera and on, on, on the air, so we don't want to tie us in too big. But we <laughs> do look to, we we are to the stage where they, they hooked up electric yesterday. Wow. We're, we're going to be putting in the roads. We're, you know, pouring foundations. Our builder, Windsor Homes, is a local builder. Um, th these cottages, as we're calling them, which are really similar to duplexes, you might see them over my shoulder. Um, they are cottage, garage, garage, cottage. We're building eight sets of those. And Greg, we only have two left. 
Wow. So if listeners are interested, give me a call. But we only have two left that aren't reservation reserved. We are taking a $1,000 um, non-refundable reservation reserve, which will go to your first month's rent. You know, fingers crossed. We've had a lot of rain, all of those kinds of good things but they will be in before the first of the year is what we're anticipating. Oh, that's great. We're talking with Amy Rising. She's the Director of Development with Illinois Presbyterian Home Communities. You heard that 16 cottages they're building and only two are <laughs> yes. available. So if you want yes. to take part in this new development in this community and uh, you want your loved ones to have independent living with Illinois Presbyterian Home Communities, Amy, how can people get a hold of you? They can get a hold of us at um, area code 217 Five four six five six two 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 one seven five four six five six two two, and they can ask for me, Amy. You can also follow us on Facebook. We're going to be launching a new website, but follow us on Facebook, IPH Communities, IPH Communities, and we're posting fun pictures um, all the time of our residents in both our assisted and independent living building project and and what's going on. I posted a bird's eye view looking down at at the dirt the other day, but you could see progress. Amy, uh, you'd mentioned the 16 independent uh, kind of uh, cottages, so to speak, with only two available, but that's just one element that you guys are building right, right now. You've got the apartment complex. Uh, how many uh, are uh, uh, possible to live in that apartment complex and how many right. are available right now? Well, we have 11 and 11 units that we're going to be in that complex. Um I have two of them reserved too, wow. Greg. I mean, it's just been phenomenal, but I still have one bedrooms and some two bedrooms left. We're going to have a big community room down in the bottom. So again, it's just going to be a nice little um, grouping of individuals that can live together, kind of look out for their own neighbors, things like that. And and I'd be remiss not to say that we all we currently have some apartments. We have a, a, a small apartment building right now. I have a one bedroom available in that. And then finally, our assisted living, um, we've been COVID free. We are just so fortunate for an amazing staff and and residents that were were patient and understanding and, and worked with us. And we remain COVID free and we are doing admissions. And I do have some rooms and suites available in our assisted living right now, too. Are all of these units going to be uh, month by month only? They are. In fact, even our assisted living, everything is month by month, which, you know, we want people to move in. I mean, we've had people live in our assisted living. We have people in our current apartments live there over nine years. We we want you to call this home and we want you to go in with that thought. But at the same time, we know as you age, as we all age, that things can happen and that one health condition can change everything. So we want people to feel comfortable and feel like they're spending their money in a way that will help them in the future. And furthermore, Greg, it's so important that they feel like they can still leave some legacy for their children um, by not spending all of their money um, in one place. Amy Raising, she is the Director of Development for Illinois Presbyterian Home Communities. One more time, give us the phone number. 217-546-5622. Illinois Presbyterian Home Communities here on Business in the 217 with the WMAY Morning News Feed. Amy, thanks for taking time with us and telling Thank us about the news. Thank you for having us. News. I appreciate Absolutely. it.